What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a brand new episode of my FC Schalke career mode. If you do enjoy the series and you want to see more, why not hit that like button, I'd very much appreciate it, it only takes a couple of seconds out of your day. Without further ado, we do get ready for our first game of the episode in the Bundesliga. We do kick things off with a 2-0 win against Augsburg. Goals from Ian Nacho and Leroy Sané from off the bench were enough to secure the three points, which I'm very delighted with. Um, we do have a young player coming to the office now, it is Atilo Curre. We haven't seen him this season. We haven't seen him actually since I've taken over. Um, <clears throat> we do actually move his uh, contract up um, two grand weekly. He's on six grand per week now and he does accept that contract offer. He does commit his future to the club. Again, I'm still undecided if we will be doing a season three or doing a brand new career mode series by the end of this one. I guess we will find out next week, which I am doing. If you are enjoying the FC Shadow Career Mode though, make sure you do show love for it. As you can see, we get a game here against Werder Bremen. We are <laughs> we're nine points clear at the top of the table at the moment, and it, you know it's a healthy gap to have. I'm very happy with that one. We're the best defensive team in the league uh, by five goals, in fact. So we want to continue our good form going forward here. We know Werder Bremen are a great side. You know, I, I think that is. <laughs> We know that it's it's no secret. They um they've had a really good season the last couple of seasons, and we know what they're uh, all about. Norderfield does actually find Maxim into you are who does actually find Maxim again goes through on goal, and actually we get we get rescued by the post there. Very very good move from whatever and, and they will continue here to attack us. Maxim does find Ujar again. Ujar turns shoots off the post again from the German side there. Don't know how they haven't found the back of the net here. They must be very frustrated. Uh, the home fans are very much behind their team. It is uh, Jebre Celeste gets onto the ball here. Great plays. He actually does find Maxim again, who hits the side netting this time. They've come so close to finding the back of the net. Best of guard gets onto the ball now. What can he do? He's under a lot of pressure there from Tete. And loses that as he finds Batshuayi here. Shoots from range. He gets his shot away. Testing the goalkeeper, but just wide of the mark. He would attack now with Maximilian Meyer into Batshuayi. We have um, a lot of uh, confidence now going forward. Uh, Johannes Geis gets in a great position. He really should have finished that and you would have backed him due to his goal scoring form in recent games. But right into the half we come forward here with Batshuayi who uh, rides the challenge from best of guys. Cuts inside of Jebre Celeste. Belgium goes through on goal but wide world doesn't make a brilliant save. Going into half time you'd see that both teams have been pretty much even Stevens here. I don't know what's going to happen in this second half. All we can say is we need to continue our football. But a very dangerous area now. So we're going to free kick here into the, into the back and length for length from Maxim. And you just, you just can't let him have that free that free shot goal and it was a uh, silly free kick to give away in that position in the first, first place. Tete tried to get onto the, the, um, the line but Farno or Tete can't stop that brilliant effort from, from uh, obviously uh, uh, Alexandre Maxi. Great goal, great goal, great goal from him, his fifth goal in the Bundesliga. That's a brilliant goal from him and you don't get tired of seeing that. Now we're desperate trying to get back into the game because Grzeska does a fine point and finds him cuts inside of his man. He's running with a shot and beat him up again so he picks up and he has to say it's safe. We'll get him from Rotterdam and Rotterdam and Rotterdam and Grzeska picks up that shot. Shwaya shimmies away, shimmies away, makes that space, makes space, and you feel it, you feel it, you get a little bit more time on that ball, he's fired, he's fired, and back out, and down on targets, and problems, and problems, Horovitch, Horovitch, and 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 Horovitch,
Um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the team so far. We're doing very well and um, growing even better. As you can see, Jonathan Tarr here thanks us for getting some more um, game time. It's good to see that one player is happy as we do get a one the win in the Bundesliga here. A goal from the right back Kakara of all people. So congratulations to him as we do get the one nil win. And he's pushing the frame for that first team spot in the team as we get ready for a return fixture against Paris Saint Germain. Obviously, we go into this one with a major advantage. Obviously, a two one lead and two away goals against the French outfit. So we hopefully will get a win against them here. If you are enjoying today's video, though, guys, just a friendly reminder: make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Uh, Bayern Munich looks set to be going into the next round along with Manchester United. The only two teams confirmed so far. Here is the PSG team who are obviously visiting Germany today. Uh, Cavani, Lucas, Lavezzi, Di Maria, Texera, Motta, David Luiz, Silva, Iogo, Aurier and Kevin Trapp in net. Um, it's a good start from PSG though. It's a company attack with Aurier. What can he do here? Um, he takes on his man and actually beats former teammate Kazara. Um, actually gives him a run around there. Great bit of footwork there from the right backs. He plays it back into Thiago Amato who gets denied by the post there. A very good start as we do um, actually come on the attack now of our own. Leon Grosetsa gets into some space and has to produce a really good save from a cruelly defected shot from um, Grzeska. As Maya gets onto the ball here, great bit of play from the attacking midfielder. Finds Nasacic with the header and not the most common source of a goal you'd feel in this game, but credit where it was due. Fantastic movement from the centre back as he does make it 1 0. We are 3 1 up on aggregate, leaving it all to do for PSG. They need two goals to even get this game going to extra time, three goals to win it now. That's going to be very frustrating for them and um, definitely going to be disappointed with that one. But the first goal in the Champions Cup for him and uh, what a way to get. That's uh, definitely settled some nerves here. But Kevin Volland is forced off of the game. Uh, very in uh, with an injury from uh, a tackle from Thiago Silva there, which is not really what you want to see. We do actually have to be forced into a change uh, very early on. Julian Brandt coming on, see what he can do in this game. Time to impress Julian. As Johannes Geis gets on the ball, he does find Leon Grozetska, beats his man yet again. He get lines up a shot from range, or does he? He plays off to Julian Brandt, falls the whole defence. Brandt gets his shot away nearly, goes skimming into the back of the net there, but unfortunately it does go wide of them up. But Johannes Geis does play in Julian Brandt here on goal, gets his shot away in the near post, beats Kevin Trapp. 2-0 to Schalke, 4-1 up, and this could be all she wrote for PSG. I cannot see them coming back from this one there. They need three goals to go through on aggregate now. Um, very frustrating, and obviously we, with our defensive record, it doesn't look likely that we will be going out of the competition now. Um, we keep our call in very difficult situations. I don't think we've lost more than two goals or conceded um, more than two goals. Well, we've conceded obviously more than two goals, but I don't think we've lost by more than two goals since I've taken over as boss. So, again, very interesting to see how things um, follow up for us. As we get into the second half here, we look to put more pressure and um, try and take more pressure off us on PSG. Sané gets the shot away. I believe that does come off the post, but the goalkeeper did have it covered as Kenny Tete plays it into Julian Brandt for another attack. Into Max Meyer, beats Aurier onto the ball, gets the shot away. Trap again produces a very good save here as David Luiz tries to turn away from Batshuayi. Actually does get caught out by the Belgian centre, um, centre forward. He does get his shot away, but Trap does hold on. Julian Brandt onto the ball now as we look to put this game to bed. Great bit of footwork there from the young German as Grisetz gets his shot away and simply finds a stunning shot into the back of the net. 3-0 to FC Schalke, 5-1 on aggregate. That is it. We are through into the next round, which is perfect for us. PSG have simply just not showed up today and it's you just don't get it. Their defence on paper is absolutely unreal and obviously in real life their turn is brilliant. Um, you look at back four of Aurier, Iogo, David Luiz and uh, Thiago Silva, you'd think that is strong enough. Um, it, it, on paper, it's a stronger back four than ours, but it's about how the team plays and the team spirit is so high of this um, this side here. We just believe we're going to win every game. As Batshuayi goes through on goal here, what can he do? Cuts back inside. Um, he's trying to find the shot here. He actually does. Off the crossbar, it could have been even more embarrassing for PSG, but the game does come to an end here. A fantastic victory for FC Schalke, in all honesty. I'm very happy with the way that one turned out for us. 5-1 uh, the final score here, and we book our place into the next round of the knockout stages in the Champions League, which is very good to see. Very happy. We dominated Paris Saint-Germain here, showing that we are real competitors for this title. We are not just here to make up numbers. 8.8 rating from late, uh, early substitute, should I say. Julian Brandt with one goal and one assist. He was definitely a focal point in us getting the win here. But bad news, Kevin Volland is out for eight weeks. But we've seen Julian Brandt shine. We have a very good player in the ranks that can definitely fill in 
um, in the right midfielder's absence. But guys, that is going to bring it into today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do hit that like button. I would very much appreciate it. It only takes a couple of seconds out of your day. And it does mean a lot to the channel. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm going to leave you looking at the squad report though. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button too. It would mean the absolute world to me. And you will never miss content from this channel ever again. So make sure you do stay tuned for some exciting videos coming up. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.